I was definitely at Craft K on Friday. I think guys were ready. We were really prepared for this, you know, going through boot camp and all that. We were just so excited to finally play a game, and it's the number four team in the country on national television on an aircraft carrier. So I think all those factors played a big role to why everybody was so excited. I like the locker room experience. It was a cool experience. It was a lot different from being in our locker room at the Bradley Center. Imagine you get the middle or the bottom box. The locker room, which was really their, their bedroom, to see how those guys slept three by three, one at the bottom, one in the middle, one at the top. You know, like a deluxe bunk bed was like incredible. Y'all look like me when I go play golf. I got the swag, that's right. The uniforms are crazy. No doubt they're the coolest uniforms I've ever worn. The meaning behind them is I think what makes it even better. You're like a kid at Christmas that got the toy you want that you've been asking your parents since like your birthday for. It was, it was really cool. Old school college swag. I was like 98. Is everybody in here? It's the first game of the year. It's going to be sloppy. It's going to be wild. You can't shoot surprise shots. Shoot our shots with rhythm and with space. Everybody got that? Yes, sir. Because that's what we practice. That's what we know. Layups. Whoever scores the most layups, or whoever gives up prevents the most layups, that's going to, who's going to win the game. This will be the game. Paint touch, layups, free throws. Guys, I like the new tradition. You guys know I'm a pitcher freak, but we really need to get this one printed up because we ain't ever going to – you can't duplicate that. None of us in here will ever have another opportunity to take this kind of pitcher. The only way we can hang it up on Coach Buzz's door is if we win that game. So that's a little bit motivation. I mean, we, that was such a unique picture that we wanted, we needed to win that game so that we could keep that and frame that and hang it up. Let's hang this one up. Not trying to motivate you. I really want to hang it up. Got it? Let's go. Let's go, man. We are just about set to open the season. Marquette against Ohio State. And Chris O'Toole will jump it up for Marquette. Here you go, Chris. Go get it, Chris. We walked out onto the court, and when we first got out there, something wasn't right. We go out to center court, and and I honestly was ready to go, and I come over, and I almost slipped and fell. It was so slippery. It was literally like an ice rink. I don't know, John. I don't know. That, that, ain't, that ain't like a spot. It's like the floor. Buzz Williams is out on the floor. Buzz has got his, cam his uh, combat boots on, and Buzz is wiping up the floor. Once Buzz grabbed a towel, that's kind of how you know that, you know, we live every day of our lives just like that. I mean, no one's higher than anyone. Buzz always calls it favor. Like, where does favor start? And small favors like that, just wiping up the floor, would let people that never seen Marquette play from South Carolina or know nothing what Marquette's about, would see that those guys are humble. Those guys are grounded. You know, those guys don't think that they're bigger than anything else or anyone else, that they're out there on their hands and knees when they sh supposed to be getting ready for a game, but they're helping wiping the floor. And I think that's just how we go about things every day. We're going to play five on five in the half court for two possessions and see. I don't know, Vander. But I'm saying it just keeps coming back. I think they're scared. I think they're scared. I think they're scared to just try it. What do you think, Jamel? Look, see, look, look. You see the frost starting to build yeah. up right there? I'm with you. Definitely on the uh, side close to the ocean, people were slipping and people were, guys weren't, they were going maybe half speed just because they didn't want to slip and fall because I think guys still wanted to play. Somebody here that's smarter than Frieder and I said that if it gets three degrees cooler, that the doing will stop. And so we're going to wait 20 minutes and see if it gets cooler. If it doesn't, I don't think that it's right to play. You okay if we put everybody in the locker room for 20 minutes? A 20 minute rundown was added to the clock to allow the floor to cool a little more and see if it stops the condensation. At the end of the 20 minute rundown, the floor will be assessed again. Slippery. No, we playing. Did y'all see Trent slide across it? Don't lose your edge, no matter what happens. No matter what happens. The paramount importance here is the student athlete safety and that we're going to jeopardize that if we play this game. We regret to inform you the game has been deemed a no contest due to weather conditions. Hey guys, we're not going to play. It's a hard feeling to explain because you know you're so amped that all of a sudden it just hits you and you know your blood pressure just goes low. You're like dang, like 
can't even play anymore. You had the adrenaline going, you're so ready, prepared for it for weeks. And I think just saying you can't play just kind of brought everybody down. It's disappointing, but at the same time, you, you can't. <laughs> I mean, I've, I have three texts from three parents saying, thanks for making the right decision. What's my reaction? Uh, it's unfortunate that we come play the game. Really looking forward to putting on the show for the troops, but uh, at the end of the day, we're not going to risk our bodies. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. No, we didn't get to play the game, but the purpose of the trip was served anyways. But at least we get to pay our respects to the wounded warriors, so that's why we're going out back onto the court right now. The most memorable part of the trip for me was meeting all the men and women after the game, even though we couldn't play, and to see the disappointment on their face, but just to thank you for everything they do for us. Yeah, I'm nice looking you, man. I'll be looking for you. Nice yeah. 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 Yes, sir. I guess we'll always remember what happened. That's a great picture. Even though we didn't get to play, I keep asking him about it. Is he going to hang it up or not? Because that's a picture, I mean, that's experience you won't forget. Look at Wayne right. Just having that up can remind us of how we're blessed and grateful in so many ways. That picture can sum up everything in a lot of words, depending on how you look at it.